welcome back to our channel, Everything Beauty EXO. It's Talene. This is my tutorial on this look right here. It's a purple smoky eye slash cut crease. I'm actually not the best at doing cut creases. I don't know how April does it. It makes it look so flawless. But, you know, I struggle and this is actually not that bad. It's like I've, I've had it come out a lot worse. Also, if you are not subscribed to our channel, please do that right now. Click that subscribe button. We just need some more ideas, I guess. I feel like that's one thing I struggle with, like what I should record, what I should film what does everybody want to watch what do I want to watch when I go on YouTube and I sit here and I'm like what am I doing this look was actually just improv I literally just created it as I went along and I made a few mistakes but I just took it for whatever it is and it's just makeup like it really doesn't matter I mean from far away it looks pretty okay from really close up who knows I don't think it's that bad though anyway I'm gonna stop ranting uh, if you want to know how I got this look just continue watching today I'm using the Huda Beauty Beauty full filter foundation in the shade chai I only really use one pump of this because it's super thick and very full coverage so I, I don't like putting too much of it on my face because it looks like I'm wearing a mask I'm just putting it on a plate and taking very little at a time and stippling it onto the skin I put a little bit more on the plate because I want to bring it down to my neck I forgot to mention also um, I've already filled in my eyebrows which I normally do in every video because like it just takes way too long to film an eyebrow tutorial in the midst of doing a makeup tutorial I'll leave a link to my eyebrow tutorial in the description box below if you want to know how I fill in my eyebrows nothing has changed I'm still using the same products to prime my eyes I'm going to use the Tarte shape tape and I'm just taking a little bit of it because I feel like it's pretty thick. And you don't really need that much. And I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush. It's the Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm just going to gently pat the concealer in, onto my lid. I feel like this helps for um, smoother application. I also use my fingers just to blend out any um, harsh lines. So like the brush and my finger kind of work together. So today I'm using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I'm gonna create something. I'm not really sure exactly what yet. Um, I'm just gonna do it as I go. So we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. So I'm just taking a fat, fluffy blending brush. This one's by Sigma. It's the E40. And I'm just gonna take this shade right here. This is Desert Sand. And I'm gonna apply that all over my crease. I feel like there's leftover pink shadow on this brush, so that transition color kind of looks more pink than obviously this shade right here, but what can you do? I didn't really clean my brushes properly. Between looks, my bad. I'm gonna take this shade right here and pat my blending brush into it. And I'm just gonna apply it in the crease as well, but not taking it too far. I'm taking it slightly into the inner corner as well. Next, I'm taking my Luxie 237 blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the Desert Sand shade again. So this one right here. And I'm just gonna blend out the edges so that we don't have any harsh lines. I'm gonna take that same blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Oud. I think that's how you say it, I'm not really sure. And I'm just tapping it on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just buffing it in. I'm taking that dark shade slightly into the inner corner because I'm going to go in and create a cut crease, so don't worry about too much darkness on your whole lid because we're going to clean it up after. I've decided I'm doing a cut crease today. Even though I'm not the best, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to do it today, guys. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30, and I'm gonna go in with that same shade again, so the Oud. I'm just gonna outline the lower portion of my crease just to make it a little bit darker. 
I'm gonna use that fluffy brush and I'm gonna go back into the purple and I'm gonna buff it out into the crease. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to uh, cut my crease. A good trick is to pat the center of your eye and look up. And that'll show you how far you can take your crease. To be honest, this feels a little bit high for me for a cut crease, but I guess the eyes just don't lie. I'm just taking any flat fluffy brush. This is the Sigma Eye Shading Brush E55, and I'm taking Desert Sand. I'm gonna apply that all over the parts that I have cut. Going back with the blending brush, I'm going to take the shade Amethyst and I'm just going to apply it on the outer corner. Taking a pencil brush, I'm going to outline the parts that I have cut with the same purple shade. kind of have to do this a few times so if you have to go back in to cut it again with the concealer brush you should to darken the outer corner I'm gonna take oud and I'm gonna blend into the purple as well but keeping this shade closer to the outer corner With my finger, I'm going to go into the shade Twilight and I'm going to pat it over the inner corner. And blend it into the outer corner. To line my eyes, I'm using the NYX Black Matte Liquid Liner. I'm just doing a really, really thin line and I'm not even going to wing it out. Like I'm just going to make it a nice thick, uh, thin black line across from the inner corner to the outer corner. I know you guys are probably watching this and, and thinking like, oh my god, this is this is not going so well. But I feel like the end product will be good. The lashes obviously make it look 10 times better than it does without. I'm just going to coat my lashes with a bit of uh, mascara. This one's by Clarins. This is the Super Volume Mascara. I'm using these uh, Mink 3D lashes. I got these off Amazon. First of all, they're not real Mink actually, but they're called Mink hair because they are supposed to imitate Mink lashes. And I've worn these ones before, so they're a bit dirty. Too bad. Now I'm gonna finish the lower lash line and I'm taking a angled fluffy brush. This is from Sephora. And I'm gonna take the Desert Sand shade. I'm gonna take the shade Amethyst again on the same brush and I'm gonna blend it out on the lower lash line. To highlight my face, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm using the Smashbox Contour Palette to highlight and contour my face. So 
So I switched brushes mid contour because I just didn't like how harsh the Smashbox brush was making my contour look. And I switched it to the Morphe 523. To highlight my face, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Palette featuring Nicole Guerrero. And I'm gonna take the shade Glow Getter and I'm gonna apply it on the highest points of my cheeks. I'm taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Bazaar Palette and I'm gonna take the shade Authentic, so this shade right here. It's kind of purpley and pink. I feel like it'll just work perfectly with this look. Last but not least, lipstick. This look is definitely incomplete without a bit of lipstick. So for my lips, I'm gonna use the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Della Perla, not Stella. I may have overdrawn my lips a little bit, but that's because um, I kind of messed up and went off grid. Uh, so don't judge me and tell me your lips are overdrawn. I know. This is my finished look. This is my Huda Beauty purple smoky eye with a bit of cut crease action. I'm not very good at cut creases, so this is definitely not the best work. but. I think it looks okay. But yeah, that's my finished look. I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any comments or um, suggestions for us to make some videos, please leave it in the, in the comment box below and we will take them into consideration. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.